if you know how to use smart sheet formulas correctly, if you know how to build them out correctly, then you are leagues above most and against your competitors, maybe those in your department, those on your team that are using Smartsheet, that are leveraging it correctly. But as we all know, what happens more often time than not is people shy away from formulas. They can look scary. If you make one tweak wrong or do one thing wrong, it breaks the whole thing. And so people shy away from it, which causes them to back away from some very, very important things that will really help you leverage Smartsheet for your company. So today I'm gonna explain and show you how to create a formula called the sum ifs formula. This formula is one of the most popular formulas and a formula that will, I promise you will be one of your best friends and um, I'm gonna show you how to do it correctly so that you have the confidence that you need to create this formula and build other formulas off of it. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, welcome to Workflow My Workload. I am your guide, Justin Horacio, and today we're com covering the sum ifs formula. Now, that's not to be confused with the sum formula that most of you are probably familiar with. That just simply means adding two or more things together. We're going to be covering the sum ifs formula. And what that means is we're going to be summing two or more things together if certain criteria is met. And as you can imagine, this could be useful for so many things. Maybe you want to sum the cost. Maybe you own like a, let's just say a clothing clothing line or a clothing store and you have pants, shirts, and shoes. And you want to sum all of the revenue that you got from pants. And if you just sum all of your revenue, obviously it's just going gonna, gonna to sum everything. And so how do I create a formula that only pulls out the revenue that are for pants? And or you know that's just again that's just an example. But today I'm going to show you how to create a sum ifs formula correctly. I'm going to take you by the hand, step by step through this formula. So again, that you have confidence to know how to build this formula and future formulas out correctly within Smartsheet. All right. Without further ado, let's dive into it. All right. So I have a sheet here that we can have some data in here that we can mess with. And remember, the goal is to sum the amount if certain criteria is met. So today, let's say we want to sum um, the revenue on this sheet for everything that is pants. So we want to sum all of this together if it's associated with pants. So 24.99 is with pants. Go down, here's another one, 45.17 for pants. Pants right here and pants right here. Now again, if we have a long, long list, this formula is just more and more helpful. Okay, so let's say I can add the formula wherever I want on the sheet. Let's just add it, let's just add it right here. And like with all formulas within Smartsheet, we're gonna start with the equal sign. And click that on the keyboard. And then I'm just gonna start typing literally the word sum ifs. Sum ifs. Now as you notice, as you start typing, go back here, you got sum, sum if, and sum ifs. And just a rule of thumb that I've learned over the years using Smartsheet, um, just use some ifs. Don't worry about some if. Um, the difference between the two is some if will only add um, information if one criteria is met. But if you have multiple criteria, like you want to check the pants, but maybe the pants that were on only on the month of January, and you know you keep adding all these criteria, some ifs lets you allow unlimited criteria to the formula. Or else some if it just limits you to one criteria. And if you're summing something that's just one criteria, like we are today, if it's just pants, some ifs with an S will still work. So rule of thumb, just use some ifs. Don't worry about some if. It's just limited to what some ifs can already do. And then some. All right. So we're going to click on some ifs. Again, you can also just type it. Some, some ifs. Click enter. There it is. So as you notice here, as again with all formulas, it's highlighting the first argument. And we know it's an argument because it's separated by a comma. So everything within the comma, so we got range is an argument, criterion range one, this is an argument, it's between two commas, criterion one is, a, is an argument between commas, commas. And as you see here, the arguments, it explains which each one of these are. So you have a range, criterion range, and then criterion. 
So we have range, the group of cells to sum, assuming they are met all criteria. Criteria range one, the group of cells to be evaluated by criterion, and criterion one, the condition that defines which number. Sorry, okay, Justin, that sounds all wonderful, but I'm still confused. Well, that's what this video is for. That's why I'm creating this for you guys. So what this is saying is for the specifically the sum ifs formula, the first thing it wants us to do is identify which cell or cells we want to add up. And so we know it's going to be these cells right here. And so what we can do is because we already have a formula typed down here, uh, the beginning of it, I can literally take my cursor and just click on the first cell. And I can take this and I can drag it and capture all the information I want to capture. So for now, I just want to capture this. Just know that, and see how it shows here, the column name is amount, so we have amount. And row number two, it starts on row number two, so amount two, it's saying column called amount, row number two. So amount two, amount two. And then we have amount 17, amount row 17. It's letting us know, watch, as I move this up and down, that formula will change. See how it's, cause it's grabbing everything within this box. You can also manually type this in if you prefer. So if we go in here and I just say amount two semicolon amount 17. See it automatically captures. So you can do it either way. Some people prefer to drag it. Some people prefer to type it in. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put a comma now we're going to so we we know what we want to sum we know what we want to add together it's that amount column the next thing we want to do is we want to choose the criteria so that's going to be these guys right here and so it wants it's going to ask me okay what criteria do you want to capture well i want to capture all of this criteria right here so i'm going to click on the first one i'm going to drag it i'm going to cover all of this so what this is saying is i want to grab the criteria for all everything that matches in this column I want to grab all the criteria next to it so if I just grab you know just maybe just the first couple right here it's only going to look at this information right here but I want to look at all this information that I have in my box so my boxes are naturally just going to look the same all right now we're going to do a comma again and then we're going to actually type in what we want to capture and as I mentioned before I just want pants and because this is a text what you're going to do is you're going to do remember don't forget your column right here after I put my comment for, for a text you're going to do quotation literally the word pants end it with another quotation and that's it we're going to click enter it's 147 25 cents I'm going to turn this into a dollar amount there we go 147.25 cents. So we got pants here at about 25, 45, about 70, 75. That would be about 100, 110, and then so 140. Yeah, 147. There we are right there. So it's capturing everything for pants here, 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 and here. It's summing just these amounts. There we go. And real quick on the fly, now that this form is already built on the fly, what you can do is you can literally copy it and paste it somewhere else. And what you can do is because the form is already built out, instead of pants, maybe I just want to look at hats. Highlight that, change it to hats, click enter, boom, it adds everything for me for hats. Because the formula is already built. The only thing I'm changing is what the criteria is. Hey guys, real quick. If you're finding this helpful so far, I've actually created a free user guide. It's a PDF that'll be sent right to your inbox that gives you the top 32 functions that are the most successful within Smartsheet. I tell you what they are. I show you a brief description of how to use them and what instances to use them for. Again, it's a free PDF guide. It's one sheet. It's all yours. I created it just for you. Just click in the bio below and it's yours. All right, let's get back to this video. And just know that um, capitalization um, does not play a factor. However, if your spelling is off, even by one letter or one number, um, it will be off. So like if I just did the word hat, it'd be zero because nothing here is hat. There's hats with an S, but no hat. So just make sure that your spelling is accurate. And what some people do is they'll just copy the actual word and put it in here. 
but we'll do hats. There we go. All right, you're right. Okay, Justin, that's all well and good, but I have multiple sheets, different sheets that capture this data. How do I do that? All right, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So we'll go ahead and we'll put it right here. And um, say I have three sheets with this information right here. So I wanna capture, just like we did with the pants, I wanna capture all of the um, revenue that comes in for the pants for this sheet. Then I have a second sheet that has the same info and then a third sheet with pants and, and revenue associated with that. So how do I add all of those together? Well, we'll go ahead and build our formula again. We're gonna do equal sign, type in some ifs. Go ahead and either click on that or click enter. Then what we're gonna do is, uh, this will be the first one, so we'll add this together. So what I can do actually is, let me just copy the formula we made. So I'm gonna highlight it, click copy, do control V or right click, click paste. So I got there, so I got the beginning part there. So see how my cursor's blinking right here on the right? I'm gonna do a plus sign. So what I'm doing is I'm adding all of this plus the data from two other sheets. So I got my formula in here, I just put in a plus sign. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna type in some ifs again. Click it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click reference another sheet. So I'm gonna click on this blue link right here, reference another sheet. And got a sheet here, it's sheet number two. And I'm gonna go ahead and I can choose the amount that I wanna add up by clicking and dragging, or I can click on the column header and it will add everything within this column. And so this part right here, you don't have to give your sheet reference a name. I highly recommend that you do. You don't have to, the formula will still work, but if you're starting to build more complex formulas, this really helps because it gives you rhyme to your reason. It gives you, um, it lets you know exactly what you're adding. So the way I like to do it is I give it the sheet name, some ifs sheet two, give it a break, and then the column name. The column name is amount, so I'm just typing the word amount. So the sheet name is sums, some ifs sheet two, column name is amount. So I have a reference for as I'm building my formula out. After I do that, and after I've highlighted the column I want to add, or just the cell group that I want to add, I'll just do a column. I'm gonna click insert reference. So here it is right here. As you notice here, the brackets are squiggly brackets. That's letting me know this is adding up, this is data coming from a different sheet other than this sheet. So it's squiggly brackets because this sheet is sheet number two, some ifs, or excuse me, some ifs sheet one. We're summing up some ifs sheet two, a whole different sheet that's not even showing up here. So what I'm gonna do is make sure your cursor is between the squiggly bracket and the closed parentheses right there in between. I'm gonna do comma. Again, I'm gonna do the same argument right here. I'm just adding the amount. The next thing I'm gonna do is add the criteria. So I'm gonna, again, I'm adding the criteria from sheet number two. So let's go to sheet number two. I'm gonna click reference another sheet. The nice thing about Smartsheet is once you've chosen the sheet the first time, the second time you click on that link, it automatically takes you back to the sheet. So now these are my criterion for sheet number two. So I'm gonna click the whole column for primary column. And it's already written out here because I did it earlier, but I have the sheet name and then the column name. Again, this is just for my reference. After I've highlighted the column, I'm gonna click insert reference. Make sure my cursor is between the squiggly bracket and the parenthesis. I'm gonna click comma. And then I'm just gonna type in the word pants. All right, now say we wanna add a third sheet. We're gonna do the whole process again, this time for sheet number three. We're gonna do a plus sign, type in the word some ifs, click on it, click reference another sheet. I have one right here called some ifs sheet three. I'm gonna first add up the revenue. So I got the sheet name, column name, insert reference. Make sure my, because sometimes Smartsheet will do this, it just throws your cursor in the wrong spot. Make sure it's between the squiggly bracket and the parenthesis. Do a comma for the second argument. We're on the second argument, now we're gonna do the criterion. It's gonna take us right back to sheet number three. I'll click on the criterion. 
sheet name sheet is three primary column is the name of the column I've highlighted it click insert reference comma and then we're going to do the word pants and with quotation and I'm just going to leave this formula here for just a second so you guys can take a look at it all right now I'm going to click enter it's going to say calculating and then look at that instantly adds everything up for us and that is how you do a sum ifs on a single sheet and this is how you do a sum ifs on multiple sheets and um, I hope this was helpful for you guys if you haven't yet already please grab that free uh, smart sheet guide I've created for you guys it's the top 32 functions or top 32 formulas that are um, very successfully used within smart sheet I've created that for you guys absolutely free um, some ifs is one of those formulas among many it tells you what the formula is and what it does and how to use it in a brief description so I hope this video was helpful for you guys and I hope you guys subscribe um, you know chime in jump in the comments if you have any questions on formulas I'll be putting more of these out for you guys and that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Talk to you.